February 27, 2012. Well, it was an interesting weekend. Uh, not a single piece of news about any oil shortages anywhere. I, did, I scoured the news up and down all weekend, and I saw nothing. All I saw was basically what looked like speculation. Um, let me show you what I mean. It's happening right now. Um, this is the morning, morning hours in California. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so there's, there's the good news that Wall Street wants to see right there. Alright, so then you go to the stock market and you see a down and an up. <clears throat> Now, in the European markets, look at, look at how it, it did this. Remember this? See how they're all doing the same thing, right? Now they're all going up. You know, there's one piece of good news, so they all react the same. So here, we have the crude prices for the day. And look what happened. It, it followed the stock market. And here we go, straight up. And here it is, straight up now. Um, let's see what the refresh does. Besides, so give me an ad. There we go. The refresh. 15 minutes after. So here, we're still going up. Just like here. At this time, we're at 124.5, roughly started out at 125.5. Now the question is, since we know this is not a supply problem because we would see news about supply, you know, shortcomings today, we'd see lines at gas stations, we wouldn't see the boats in the bay, which we're going to go look at in just a few minutes. Um, in fact, why don't we look at that now? Okay, a new oil barge has showed up, so that makes three. So it's not supply problem, it's speculation. People playing with, with, with the oil futures on the stock market. Who wouldn't want to buy oil futures right now? Oil is just going to become less and less available, making it more and more expensive. Of course you'd buy up oil stocks. But the big question is, how high will this happen? What's the most expensive? Cheapest gas station. Most expensive gas. How high will it go? Because if you went up to like, if gas went up to five dollars a gallon, wouldn't that absolutely destroy the economies of the world? But who really has any control over it? Well, couldn't our leaders, when they think, just take all the uh, energy and take it off the market? Wouldn't that solve the problem? Just thought I'd ask. If you guys have any idea about that, leave a comment, either at Park Pink Barrio or on uh, YouTube here. You know, there's so few people that make any money, really, off of high oil prices. but. Exxon, Mobil, all the big giants will definitely have a nice big bonus coming because of this high profits again. I'll talk about them when they're, you know, they'll be coming out every quarter you get to see what the, uh, you know, how these gi oil giants make, making all this giant profits. So we've been talking about what we're going to do when oil really does run out. What can you do? Well, one thing is you can take care of your body. We've talked about that a lot with juicing and food and um, where you buy it. But now we seem to be having a problem. One of the main uh, grocery store chains that sell organic groceries. I think you need to go look at Pink Barrio underneath this video. And there's a video explaining just what I'm talking about. This has to do with where you get your organic produce, where it comes from. So if you eat organic food and you, you know, you're real picky about what 
put, goes in your in your uh, body. You're real picky about what you eat. Um, I would really strongly su suggest you go look at this uh, "What Is" video. It's the one right underneath here, right underneath this video on Pink Barrio. Can't miss it. Use the dates to scroll down to this date, and then you'll still see it underneath. Even if you have to go to the archives, this uh, this is a must see video and uh, why don't we spread it around you know that's what the left does we s sort of tell each other what's going on the reason I um, I keep telling you about these websites is because hopefully you guys will come on here and tell us about different links and uh, information that I can pass it on it will help everybody if they go see this this video and pass the word on you'll never see this kind of news on on the corporate media you'll never see it because they're just not going to say anything but in this case this is actually on the corporate media all right I want to show you something here okay this is a package of organic cut corn distributed by Woodstock. All right. It also has uh, USDA. It's not the front that worries me. It's what's on the back. And this purely is for people who care about what they eat. Really, if you don't care about what you eat, or if you're not real worried about your body or anything like that, then you probably don't really want to watch this. But if you really do care about what you eat, and you're, you're into organic and, and maybe a, a vegan or a vegetarian, something like that, then this is really the video for you. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. This is the part that this video that I want you to go look at pertains to, is where is this made? If you're in the States, the U.S., right here it says product of U.S. All right, and then down here you can double check to make sure this isn't bullshit is down here it says you know Woodstock and it gives the address there USA and then um, up here it says uh, this product is responsibly sourced from the US okay if you care then you can go and search it in a search engine there it is and then you can click on it and see if they really have a web address which they do and they have some stuff about it and, and they're obviously not into GMO no GMO they continuously say no GMO the information on it so my advice is you know this is a, a pretty package right here but there's not a whole lot of information here Everything you want to know is in the, on the back of the package. All right, especially this thing called ingredients list. That 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 you want as short as possible. Right there, it says uh, ingredients. Corn. <laughs> After you watch the video, you'll understand what this part of the video is all about, and that's for the people that want to take care of themselves. Alright people, till next time.